hello everyone let us find the value of x in this diagram we have x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 3 and it is equal to 32 now this is simple because we are going to follow one of the rules of indices that if you have the same base and you are to multiply them, you will add the powers as you pick one of the bases. So I'm going to pick x and add 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 so that this will be equal to 32. Now, for us to add the power here, we will find the LCM of 2 and 3. So we're going to have x to the power of the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Then we have this. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1. We have 3. Plus 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1. We have 2. And this is equal to 32. Now the next thing I will do is to add the powers. So we have x to the power of 5 over 6, and it's equal to 32. Now, the next thing I will do is to remove this power from here. And to do that, I will multiply the power by its reciprocal. So I'm going to have x to the power of 5 over 6. Then this will be multiplied by the power, which is going to be outside and it will be 6 over 5, right? So this is equal to 32. But now that I introduced the reciprocal of 5 over 6, it has to reflect on the right. So we have power of 5 over 6 on the right. Now 6 will cancel 6, 5 will go with 5. x is alone and it's equal to 32 to the power of 6 over 5. But then, do you know that this is the same thing as x being equal to 32 to the power of 1 over 5, then to the power of 6? These are the same thing, right? Because from here, we can just find the fifth root of 32, right? Or by the way, let's do it this way, x will be equal to 32 is 2 to the power of 5, right? Then multiply by 1 over 5 here. But then the power of 6 outside is still there. Now this will go with this. This means that we're having x to be equal to 2. And then we have the power of 6 outside. But then what is 2 to the power of 6? 2 to the power of 6 will be equal to 2 multiplied by itself in 6 places and that is going to give us some um, 64 right so our x is equal to 64 but i would like us to put it back into the problem and confirm our work now let me do it on this side the original equation is x to the power of 1 over 3 multiply okay it's 2 first x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 3 equal to equal to 32 right okay now from here do you know that this is the same thing as the square root of x multiplied by the cube root of x for the cube root, there must be 3 in there. So this is equal to 32, right? Now put in your 64. So we have square root of 64 multiplied by the cube root of 64. Will this be equal to 32? Let's go. Square root of 64 is 8. Because 8 times 8 is 64. Then multiply by cube root of 64 is 4. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Now, 4 times 8, or better still, 8 times 4, this is giving us 32. So this is to confirm that 
um, the value of x, which is equal to 64, satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching and do well to share this to your friends.